Hi everyone, it's me Pratima. Here I have the Pixel 7 and the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Today I am going to do a blind photo comparison between these smartphones. Now my team took a ton of pictures from both of these phones and I've not seen them yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all the pictures, uh, choose which ones I like better and in the end we will calculate which smartphones pictures I prefer the most. The results are definitely going to be interesting because the iPhone 14 Pro Max costs almost double of what the Pixel 7 does. In fact, you can get the Pixel 7 for some $499 during these Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals. So can a cheaper phone perform as good as a flagship phone? Let's find out. So here we have the first picture, it's just a normal picture taken from the main lens and if I have to choose, I will go for the right one because the left one is just too bright in my opinion and it's also a bit more warm for my taste. Uh, it is definitely more detailed than the right one but still I would like to go for the right one. Which is taken from the Pixel 7. Okay, so one point for Pixel. Okay, let's move on to the second picture, which is this really nice flower image. And if I have to choose, I will, I think, go for the left picture because the right one is um, a bit more warm for my taste. Yeah. Okay, the left one is from the Pixel 7. So second point to Pixel as well. Oh, seems like the iPhone is not winning. Okay. Next, we have a portrait shot. So the Pixel 7 does not have a telephoto lens. So this is a 1x portrait shot. Uh, the blur is, I think, a lot on the right image, whereas the blur on the left image looks quite natural. The subject skin tone is a bit more pleasing on the right one, but I think overall uh, the subject looks more bright and the background also looks better on the left image. So I will go for the left one which is taken by the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Okay, one point to the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Let's move on. Okay, this one is a wide angle image and um, I guess the left one is from the Pixel 7 because it does not have a wider field of view when it comes to wide angle images, whereas uh, this one I'm guessing is from the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I don't know yet. And although the left one is not too wide, I prefer it. I kind of prefer it because the colors look better on the left image. Which I was right. It's taken from the Pixel 7 to yet another point to Pixel 7. Moving on, we have another wide angle shot. And um, here I prefer the left one because uh, the right one is just too warm and it has this red tint. Uh, whereas the left one is also uh, quite detailed. So yeah, I'll go for the left one, which is taken from the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Next, we have a nighttime shot. The left one has this uh, sort of a warm red kind of tint, whereas the right one is a bit on the cooler side. Uh, the skies are like have equal amount of contrast. So I guess I'll go for the right one because it has more details. It looks sharper. Okay, iPhone 14 Pro Max. Makes sense because it has a larger sensor. Okay, moving on. This is an indoor image, but in good lighting condition. And I will go for the left one because uh, I feel like the dynamic range here is preserved better than the right image. The right image in some areas is just darker and it's, it's, it's losing some details, whereas the left one is sharper and it's brighter overall it looks like a very difficult lighting condition as well i think the left one has done it better okay so this picture is taken from the iphone 14 pro max nice iphone's on the lead next image is a very difficult image and uh i kind of don't like the glare that the right image has but on the left it's uh Kind of it has not been able to preserve the shadows in the subject. So I'll go for the right one because the dynamic range looks quite good and the subject also looks good. It has a, like a dramatic effect to it. So yeah, I'll go for the right one. iPhone again. All right, the next image we have, uh, this is a normal image and uh, I think I would go for 
the left one because in the right one the subject is just a bit too dark although the overall picture it looks good on both but because the subject looks better on this one i'll go with the left one which is the pixel 7 okay pixel 7 is catching up next we have a very difficult scenario in this image we have harsh sunlight and we also have some shadows that need to be preserved and i think i will go for the left one because on the right one there's this visible glare it's not looking that good whereas on the right one the colors are also looking very nice and you know the overall balance of shadows and exposure is better so i'll go for the left one which is taken from the iphone 14 pro max okay all right this is an indoor picture possibly taken during night i don't know but i think the left one is uh done the exposure management better than the right one the right one has basically lost details in this area and it's 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 very dull to be very honest so i'll go for the left one which is again taken by the iphone 14 pro max this is a buddha statue that we have in our office and um if i have to choose between these two i will go for the left one again because in the right one you know it's it's kind of very noisy in buddha's face but here it's very sharp and the color i think it's closer to this one so i'll go for the left one pixel 7 okay okay we are here we have another portrait shot and for this i would like to go with the left image i don't know why I, I am inclined with left images but this one looks brighter and the background also looks nice the overall uh, blur is also looking nice so yeah i go for the left one taken from the iphone 14 pro max so usually i have been choosing portraits from the iphone 14 pro max as it turns out okay this is an indoor image the left one is a bit bright but um, in some scenarios uh, like in this area it's i think a bit too bright it's lost details but here we have some details preserved and the indoor situation is also looking better here so i'll go for the right one okay it's from the pixel 7 nice next we have a selfie i don't know it's a very difficult situation to choose because the left one has like a better subject because my face has been like brightened and it looks better but at the same time the background is not looking good here the background looks good on the right image but my face is kind of muddy so um i guess when you're taking a selfie it's all about you so i'll go with the left image okay iphone 4 pro max next so while I am choosing the pictures, I would love to know what you guys think as well. So do comment down below which one, which photos that you like the most. I would love to know what you think. Okay, so uh, the next image, it kind of looks very similar. Uh, the, this, this, the right photo is kind of more bright while this is more balanced, I think. But I don't know, it looks very similar. What do you think? I think the right one looks good. Right one looks good. Yeah. Okay, because he chooses the right one, I'll go with the right one. But I, I can't see a lot of differences. Both images look really good. But again, because Bisal here chooses the right one, let's see. Oh, it's from the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Okay, now next up, we have a low light shot, and the right image has a. A bit of a punchy like feel to it the saturation is a bit more but the left one looks a bit dull details are almost gone in both the scenarios except for this uh, light here i will go for the right one it looks more pleasing to the eyes because there's a little bit more saturation yeah the right one iphone okay iphone also has a bigger sensor so maybe it's able to gather more light and process it better okay next up we have a picture of Bodha here it is one of the uh, world heritage sites here in Kathmandu it's a very beautiful place and it's crowded every time you go there anyways back to the picture um if i have to choose between the two uh i think i'll go for the left one 
because it's brighter and I don't feel the need to edit it more whereas the right one is a bit dull and um, the dynamic range is also not preserved very well. So yeah, I'll go with the left one also because it's more sharp than the right image. So yeah, I'll go for the left one. iPhone 14 Pro Max again. Okay, flagship phone is winning. Okay, we have a wide angle shot taken during sunset. I'm guessing the vibe, there is this sunset vibe there. Uh, definitely, I'll go for the left one. It's brighter, the details are better, the trees look so much better than the left image. So I'll go for left image again from the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Moving on, we have a portrait shot of me here uh with no makeup apparently okay so um the right image has a very good looking background because the left image has this light rays all over the place but um, the subject looks better on the left image it looks brighter and the skin tone looks good whereas i look dreadful on the right image so i'll go for the left one because i look better there uh, but if i have a quick quick time to edit a picture maybe i will take this picture use a filter or something and then upload it to social media but for now if i have to choose a raw image i will go for the left one which is taken by the iphone 14 pro max next again we have a picture of both the here but this situation looks kind of uh, difficult for a camera because there's a lot of light and there is this other artifact um, but if I had to choose one, I think I'll go for the right one because it looks brighter and the colors look better. More importantly, here the dynamic range is not very good while Bodha is also looking a bit dark. So yeah, I'll go for the right one. It's taken with the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Okay. I have not compared videos because I reviewed both these devices and iPhone 14 Pro Max is the clear winner. It has like superior video capabilities. So I just took pictures into consideration. All right, we have a selfie now and um, the right image has a lot of um, artificial smoothing going on, but uh, the left image you know, looks very natural. But at the same time, I like the skin tone from the right image. Uh, the overall images both are good though. I think I'll go with the right one because I like the skin tone more. I think uh, the left picture has brightened the face a little bit to make it more pleasing. I'll go for the left one. I mean right one. iPhone 14 Pro Max. Okay, we have a nighttime image here. The left one definitely is more sharper. Uh, not just with the middle building but with the other buildings that's there but it's also kind of more like unnecessarily bright uh the sky looks better on the right image i think i don't know both images look good but this is more sharp i'll go for the right one because the left one looks like there's a lot of like, sharpening going on so i i think i'll go for the right one taken from the pixel 7 finally Okay, we have a flower pot here and there is a bit of a sunset in the background as well. Um, the right image definitely has a bit of more uh, colors. The saturation is a bit more, but the left image kind of looks very dramatic. And if I had to upload it on social media just like that, I would choose the left image. So yeah, I'll go for the left one. Pixel 7. Okay, Pixel is picking up, but not by much though. So let's move forward. Oh, we're done. Okay, so here we have the results. And um, I am actually quite surprised that the Pixel 7 did not do well. I actually chose a lot of iPhone 14 Pro Max's images. I was really hoping that the Pixel 7 would do uh, better. But then again, it is a $600 phone, we also have to consider that. And I think it competed beautifully. I mean, I practically nitpicked in a lot of areas and you know, the Pixel was a very close second. Okay, to answer the question, can a cheaper phone perform as good as a flagship phone? Well, the answer is no. 
um, especially considering that the Pixel 7 does not have a telephoto lens and the video capabilities on the iPhone 14 Pro Max is definitely better. But then again, photos are highly a matter of personal preference. So uh, do let me know in the comments uh, which one you liked. Uh, so that is the end of this video. We will be coming up with more fun content like this. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Till then, I'm Pratima Adhikari and I will see you in my next video.